So so and welcome to Sims Playhouse Presents Courtney's Journey to Love. Today we took Sterling, the winner of our painting challenge based on the quality of painting, on a date to the library. Now I know this sounds weird, but guys, uh, Courtney and Sterling are both geeks, so hanging out at the library, you know, going to the observatory, reading, playing games, that kind of stuff. That's their that's their judge. They like that kind of stuff. But before we get too deep into it, I just want to make sure you guys go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. I look forward to it and enjoy the love from you guys thus far. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get these people going. Now, I brilliantly forgot. Oh, sweet, wrong person. I was just changing, making sure their moods were set up right. Look at that. See, I didn't, I did not, this is not something that I set up, people. I did not cue that interaction. <laughs> there, oh, you, you all just won't brush us off. That's because you all in the rain, and you all did not. I don't know why. I don't know, maybe I don't grab an umbrella from the house before you all came out. That's okay. You all just going to run inside here. I'm just going to have you all sit down here together and chat. And kind of, you know, just having a little good time. What? Why y'all have to choose to sit there? All the, of all the tables and chairs and couches and sofas and everything in this entire lot, y'all chose those two. Oh, my girl, why, why for are thou standing, standing there and not going where I told you to go? See, he already found his way. <laughs> this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Okay, so we're gonna try and get this thing going right because y'all are just not doing what I'm telling you to do. So that's all right. That's fine. That's quite okay. Forget sitting down there together. See, somebody else is sitting here talking. This is <laughs> Y'all just not gonna do what I tell y'all to do. So this date is gonna be a flop based on all the parameters of a date, but we're gonna have a good time. Regardless, because clearly, these Sims are not doing it. anything I tell them to do. Absolutely nothing. But that's all good. Get to know him a little bit more. Because you guys seem to be getting along pretty well. We want to make sure that you all get along. Get along. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure there's absolutely no room for misinterpretation about how well you guys are compatible with each other. So clearly we're not going to get anything on those points. It's an unsuccessful date. Blah, blah, blah. Boring, boring, boring. Who cares? Come on now. Courtney's trying to get with you and spend some time with you, Star. Now, understand this. They both are geeks. They both love computers. They both love, you know, uh, playing games and stuff like that. So in the house, there is a computer, but it's in Courtney's room. So he does not have access to that computer. So I kind of understand his, his, you know, natural gravitation to the computer and kind of forgetting to actually interact with her a little bit. But we're going to fix that. Let's see, share some secrets. Let's do a little bit of romance stuff. You know, look his. And he has such a nice voice. Lizzie, darling, I have to say thank you. This is a really well made guy. Uh, I actually saw him in one of her other stories that she's doing, and just <laughs> hear this thing go again with the in game poses. This is so cute. <laughs> I guess to show you how cute they look together. And I wish I can figure out exactly which pose this was that's causing this. This is what happens when you have like 10 gazillion million, yes, that's a number. In my book, that's a number, poses in your game. You never can tell when they start and when they stop. And how, which, which pose is it, is, which interaction is causing this? At least not by just looking, you know, you have to actually dig deep and look for it. Let's go ahead and exchange numbers. There you go, that's officially done. You mean oops? Oops, what? What are you oopsing for? Girl, 
Sterling, this is not the time for you to be playing. This is not the time to play games. Literally. You over here playing games. We don't have time for game playing right now. Lowercase. I know you want to do some geeky stuff. Debate captains. Hold on. As a geek, she wants to have a nerdy conversation with someone. Oh, okay. So it seems like whenever I tell her to do, I can't even tell you what it is I just told her to do. But let's have a nerdy conversation. Because you can only have a nerdy conversation with what? Another nerd. And they're both nerds. So, colors here? Enthused about a new show. What else can we do that's a nerdy conversation? Unless there's an actual interaction called a nerdy conversation that I have somehow in my life of playing this debate best captains. There you go! Come on now. Blowing kisses. Enthused about new show. Although you all ain't really been watching my show, so I don't know how y'all can do about it. We're going to cheat y'all hunger up because y'all not on those dates where you can get through that easily. But we're going to make sure that at the very least, they are, their needs are met. You know. Y'all, this is going so good. I'm actually having fun. Oh, wait, there's a skate park. There's a skate park. This, and it's raining. This is perfect to go skating in the rain, right? Let's go. Let's go skate. Let's go skate. Let's go skate. Let's go skate. Woo, woo. I'm sorry, guys. I get excited about the dumbest things sometimes. <laughs> But you know what? It's sometimes it's it's good to be excited about little things. You know that means you don't you're not required to have big fancy expensive things to make you feel good. You know you can have the littlest things and you're completely content with those things. Let's go skating. Uh oh, this could go really really good. Oh. oh. Really, really bad, guys. Ah, ah. Okay, so while they're skating, um, this is probably where I'm going to end it for today's episode. So we're going to just have them just skate around and have fun. Um, and while they're doing that, we're going to go ahead and prepare for the other dates with the other gentlemen. So I am really excited to hear about what you guys think about what happened in today's date. And I'm really excited to know what you guys think is going to happen. Who's going to stick around? Who's going to, who's going to go? Who do you think should stay? Oops. <laughs> she fell flat on her behind. What do you guys expect to see happening in the next couple of episodes? Please like, comment, and subscribe. And again, I look forward to seeing you guys for another episode of Courtney's Journey to Love. Dag, dag. If you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Dag dag!